I'd like to say good evening to the class. My name is Dorian Lewis, and I will be your moderator for this evening's lecture. Welcome to another lecture given by members of the Southfield, Michigan class. This is a school, not a church. Neither are we affiliated with any religious organization. This school is a nonprofit, non-denominational, religious and scientific research organization dedicated to showing proof of the existence of Yahweh, our Elohim, and the operation of his eternal purpose, pattern, and plan operating throughout eternity to this present day. This school was established as the result of a divine vision and revelation given unto our founder, Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley, in the state of Ohio in the year 1931. We hold classes in the United States, Canada, and certain other foreign countries. The Southfield, Michigan class was established in 1997. The Dean of the Southfield class is Dr. Marvin Lewis. The president is Dr. Edward Ewell. And the vice president is Dr. Ronald Atkins. In this school, we use the true, correct, and original name and title of the Father, the Word or Son, and the Holy Spirit as they are contained in the original Hebrew texts. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. It has been improperly substituted with Lord. The true title of the word or son is Elohim. It has been improperly substituted with God. The name of the Holy Spirit manifested in or out of the physical body is Yahshua. This has been erroneously substituted with Jesus Christ. Lord and God are titles and are not names. The Apostle Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, tells us in 1 Corinthians 8 and 5 that there are Lord's many and God's many. But we now know that each Lord must have a name and each God must have a name also. Elohim is a title, but unlike Lord and God, Elohim is a divine title. That means that Elohim is the title that our creator chose for himself. Jesus is a name, but it is an erroneous name. A minor investigation on your part in a good dictionary or encyclopedia will prove that neither the Hebrew, Greek, nor Latin languages have any letters or characters in their alphabet that would produce the sound that is made by this letter J. Neither was there a letter J in the English language until some 1400 years after the Messiah's death. Therefore, such names as Jesus and Jehovah are impossible renderings of the true name of our Heavenly Father and His Son. Christ is a title, just like Lord and God. Yahweh is pure spirit, and in this state, He is incomprehensible and inscrutable. He is the ultimate source, substance, limits, and bounds of everything. We have Yahweh in His pure spirit state, symbolized on this chart as a cloud. Yahweh is not a cloud. He merely chose a cloud to symbolize himself because a cloud has no particular or descriptive shape and form. We've drawn this cloud all around the edges of this chart to show you that everything on the chart is within the cloud. In like manner, everything in the universe abides within the pure spirit state of Yahweh. Yahweh, knowing that man cannot perceive of him in this pure spirit state, took on shape and took on form right within himself as Elohim. This is the word or son, a super incorporeal being, that is having the shape and form of a man, but without flesh and blood. This form can only be seen in divine visions and understood in divine revelations. Later on, this self-same spirit manifested himself in a physical body excuse me, and walk the earth plane as Yahshua the Messiah, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. Now, there is only one name given unto salvation, and we must know that name. So the simple yet intelligent question we should all ask ourselves is what was the name of the Savior during the time he walked the earth plane? A further understanding of this name and title may be had by reading the preface of the Holy Name Bible. Also in this school, we teach by the divine pattern of the universe. It is called the divine pattern because it is Yahweh's pattern. 
After Yahweh led the children of Israel out of Egypt, he called Moses atop Mount Sinai and showed him the tabernacle pattern in a vision. Yahweh instructed Moses to build one exactly like it in the wilderness of Sinai. The pattern consists of the most holy place, the holy place, and the court round about. These three compartments make up the one tabernacle pattern. In this school, we show proof that everything in the universe is made and operates according to the structure and function of this threefold tabernacle pattern and that absolutely nothing escapes the pattern. The primary constitutional aims and objectives are as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh, our Elohim, as he really is and actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus of universal brotherhood of humanity in Yahshua the Messiah, without distinction of race, nationality, creed, sex, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law or so-called law of nature and the powers latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religions, psychology, philosophy, and modern practical and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstition, skepticism, and ignorance. Sixth, to learn, know, and understand the operation of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensations and ages. Seventh, to discern and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons operating the mystery of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation and faith which was once delivered unto the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained that there is no other name given among men whereby man can be saved, saving the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth, to inherit eternal life now in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah with the hope of immortal glorification in the new earth state. Our watchword is peace, and our slogan is speak the truth. And at this time, we will have a prayer given by Dr. Sybil Lewis, followed by a scripture reading, which will be Matthew, the 16th chapter, read by Dr. Lauren Lewis. Good evening, class. Good evening. Let us bow our heart or mind before our... Uh, Sybil, you muted. Oh, you I'm to... sorry. There you go. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Let us bow our heart and mind before Yahweh, our Elohim, in the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Father, we are thankful and grateful to be at this class, this Zoom class this evening. We are thankful and grateful for your mercies. We are thankful and grateful that one more time we're able to come and learn about your purpose, your pattern and plan of salvation. Father, we thank you for all the knowledge and understanding that you have given to us. And we do not take it for granted because as you have given it us freely, we indeed want to share it freely. And so Father, we thank you for all the brethren. We thank you for those who are here and who are about to come. And as we sit, as we learn, whether we sit quietly this evening, or whether we speak, Father, may it be the truth. And Father, we ask you one more time to please cause us to be attentive to everything that is said. We ask this and all blessings in the name of your dear son, Yahshua the Messiah. Let the class say hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, beautiful prayer. I'd like to say good evening to the class. Good evening. And I'll be reading out of the King James Version, substituting the true names where appropriate. The Holy Name Version is displayed on your screen. That's Matthew's, the 16th chapter. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came and tempting desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, when it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, you hypocrites, you can discern the face of the sky, but ye can ye not discern the signs of the times. A wicked and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign and there shall no sign be given unto it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. And he left them and departed. And when his disciples were come to the other side, they had forgotten to take bread. Then Yahshua said unto them, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves saying, it is because we have taken no bread. Which when Yahshua perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason you among yourselves because you have brought no bread? Do ye not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the 5,000 and how many baskets ye took up? Neither the seven loaves of the 4,000 and how many baskets you took up? How is it that you do not understand that I spake? and not to you concerning bread that you should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. Then understand they how that he bade them not beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. When Yahshua came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Messiah, the son of the living Elohim. And Yahshua answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, some Simon Barjona, excuse me, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, or assembly, excuse me, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. <clears throat> excuse me. Then charged his disciples that they should tell no man. Excuse me. Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no man that he was Yahshua, the Messiah. From that time from, be, excuse me, from that time forth began Yahshua to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him saying, be it far from thee master, this shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things that be of Yahweh, but those that be of men. Then said Yahshua unto his disciples, <clears throat> excuse me, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? For the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels 
and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Verily I say unto you, there be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the son of man coming in his kingdom. That was Matthew, the 16th chapter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for the prayer, Dr. Sybil Lewis, and for the scripture reading, Dr. Lauren Lewis. And we once again welcome everyone out to tonight's lecture. Tonight is a uh, Dr. Kinley lecture. We're going to be listening to the audio recording and uh, reading along with the transcript. The lecture we're doing tonight uh, is from, uh, well, I got it from um, Lansing's website. It is titled Intercession, Rightly Dividing the Word of Truth. Um, the audio and transcript is, are both on Lansing's website. Uh, the thing with the audio, some of these audio lectures is that, um, at, at least where I'm getting them from, from Lansing's site, a lot of them have been copied or copies of copies of copies. And so in this one, and I've seen this before, there's a few parts where the tapes, you know, they, they had multiple tapes where they switched sides and all that. The part is in the transcript, but it's not in the audio. So uh, I'll read those parts. It's just where they switched the tapes. It's like a sentence or two. So I'll read those parts. Does, and uh, where, the, where they go to the uh, second tape, I think it is, there's a couple. Yeah, there's some more parts missing. So I'll just read those. There's a break in the tape. You'll hear it. It's about 45 minutes in. So anyway, this one is, uh, like I said, intercession, right? Dividing the word of truth. It is from uh, between 1966 to 1968. Uh, all right. I think that's it. So as usual, turn your volume down. This one sounds pretty decent. There's a little noise in the beginning, babies crying and all that. But this one's pretty good. So uh, you should be able to hear pretty well. All right. Here we go. So turn your audio down and then turn it back up to your liking once the audio begins playing. And if uh, you have any trouble hearing, uh, please send it to me in the chat. All right, here we go. I'm going to start playing now. Sorry, I didn't go all the way back to the beginning. Sorry about that. This thing been doing this lately. Okay, I think this is it. Sorry about that. I know all of you enjoy the And he did <coughs> speak the things that pertain to eternal life. And I want to say that he was not learning. He's already <laughs> found out about it. He was talking, I thought to myself that uh, one of the reasons why that a lot of people don't want to stick around or stick around to find their is because they soon find out, you find out real soon about it too, that uh, these people are not getting down here. They found out that these people that get up here and speak, they, they know what they're talking about. They're capable of doing it. And anyone that don't know, you understand? Now then, it don't take long for them to learn. You understand? And that's just cold water on the thing. You see what I'm talking about? Well, they're not coming back. I speak more exclusive there the men. They're not going to stick around. They just can't stick around where you show him up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's not going to stay there. Because uh, it's, it's just too uncomfortable for him. But as long as some of them can come around and think that you don't know, you understand? They get with good at it. It's funny. And as I said uh, before, I want everybody to realize one thing in the picture, that this is not a Bible reading scripture quote in context. That's not what this is. Now we believe in going by the scripture. 
，不用多把一点点。Mm-hmm. But uh, we don't want to misapply. You understand? Misconstrue. As we had here, I believe it was last Sunday night. You see? Mm-hmm. And you heard me say many times. Now, I've been classified as a bibliomaniac. Right. A walking Bible. I told you many, 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 many times. That's right. And if you would just open your Bible and start reading it without looking, I'd tell you chapter and verse where you was reading it. And then here one day, see, God revealed to me I didn't know nothing. You understand? It just made a monkey out of me. Get the point? Now, I had to come clean with you about that. See? Well, now, if it was true in my case, you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Now, you know, good and well, I'm not going to buy it on you. You understand? Right. You see through what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> so, if, if there's all this scripture quoting and, and all them different kinds of things, try to show somebody uh, how good a memory you've got and how much you know about it, that don't mean nothing. Don't mean anything. See, i tell you one, I'll tell you one thing. Solomon said it, too. He said, much study. Is awareness of the thing. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. You can read a thing and read it and read it and get so you can recite and repeat it and quote it and all that different kind of things anyway. You understand? Mm-hmm. You see? It becomes greatest and what they of course. Of course, there is no such thing as a subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. But for the sake of explanation, why we could use the term, mm-hmm. it becomes greatest in your subconscious mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, you think you know something. Mm-hmm. You see? Now, this is what happened to me. After having all of that in my mind, you see, I went back after I seen the vision and looked at the same verses. Mm-hmm. See? Now, you know they didn't change. It wasn't the verses that changed. You got that? <laughs> see? And I found out I read them things wrong. Well, and I quote them, too. Mm-hmm. As I told you, I could quote, quote, quote. And everybody that said, Takes a, a Bible. You see, they get around to the place where they get familiar with the thing and all like that, but that don't spell it in the country. A lot of people, you've heard them say this, well, that's my uncle, that's my daddy, that's my grandfather, and uh, that's my brother. Why, he knows a whole lot about the scriptures, you understand? Maybe they mean by that because he studied the Bible and he, you understand, he read quite frequently and he's become familiar with his contents, but that don't spell he knows anything about it. No, indeed. Now that goes to the first one in the Bible. That's not the Paradox, you see. Verse 1. Wrong and stop the And when you start out wrong, you can't hope to end up right. You see, for the most part, the preachers don't know how to. They don't even know how to study a Bible to realize and know anything about it. Right. That's right. See, then another thing. The Apostle Paul said this, uh, all scripture, now not some, mm-hmm. see, mm-hmm. is given by the inspiration of God. Now anybody that get up here and read this book, and read that in the book, I don't care whether it's a Protestant, a Catholic, a uh, any of be aged if you want to, you understand, communist, any, anything you want to make it. You know, then he's got to read that the way it's written in the book. Mm-hmm. Get the point? You say all scriptures given, but that don't spell that he knows what all scripture is. Mm-hmm. That don't spell that he knows what Paul is talking about. Right. Get the point? And anything else you read in the Bible is that way. You see? Now, what we have did in this school, since it is a research, see, now we brought up uh, by. We've got the Vulgate, now that's, or the Gallery Version, now that's Roman Catholic. Now they insist and dogmatically contend, you understand, that this Vulgate is the closest to the original manuscripts that they had written, translated, I think you'll find it, by Jerome. See, just one man. See, 
You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, when King James, you see, translated the Bible, Tyndale, do you understand, was the uh, translator there, you understand? But he had a whole force of men to correct, uh, to check behind Tyndale, then wrote this King James Bird. Now, anybody that knows anything at all about the Bible and ever studied theology to a great extent knows that the King James Version of the Bible is better than the Vulgate. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Get the point? But I have been to read all these verses and tracts of the Bible. And every time this is a uh, 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 scripture lesson, as you call it, is read here in the class. You see, now the... the, the, the one that reads, he said, now this is not the King James Version. Understand? He tell you that it is not. Now, look, that don't mean, you see, that you are just supposed to not have no Bible and pay attention to it. You bring your King James Version, see, get it. If you don't have one, get one. Mm-hmm. You understand? Bring your Roman Catholic Bible, anything you can pick up, bring it on down and Look at it and read it, you see. Every time he reads, you open your book, you understand? Don't you think because he said uh, this is a, not the King James Version that you don't, you're don't, you not supposed to read? Don't think that. You see? Right. You get the point? Mm-hmm. So you get, if you don't have a Bible, get you one or some guy. You see, and this is a, this, this is a research. Now, in our researches, just like we talked about last night at the, the meeting last night, now, uh, in this school, we're not trying to agree with anybody. Mm-hmm. That's not our objective. And then we don't care what our ancestors or progenitors believed. Mm-hmm. You understand? We're not uh, uh, we're not guided and directed by that. Right. Get going. And. This institution is independent. It is not backed up by Roman Catholics. It is not backed up by the Protestants. You see? And people have come along and said this. You see? Said, well, I think, uh, uh, told Dr. Gross this one when we were over in Hollywood. Understand? Said, don't you have nothing to do with that fella talking about me? Took him back in the back. But then he did, you see, uh, John Grosslein showed him the church, you understand? And uh, the teaching of it took him back and said, look, said, don't you have nothing to do with that fellow? That I've already lost five or six jobs on the account of it, and he's a communist. Don't like me being a communist. <laughs> now, Doc Gross at that time been around with me somewhere around 30 years or something <laughs> like that. Now, he couldn't find out whether well, I'm a communist in 30 years or not, you understand? You see what I mean? Now, she just blown in there. That's the first time she'd ever been in there, you see, and that was her judgment. Well, now, she's not by herself. Somebody else coming in thinks we've done it. You see? See? People walk up to you and say, what church you come to? Occasionally. You understand? You see? Now, they think that's an intelligent question. Paul said, unlearned question. Avoid. Yeah. Why? Because they gender strife. Stir up a lot of strife. You understand? So, now, when they ask you that question, to them it's intelligent. Mm-hmm. To me it's genuinely stupid. Mm-hmm. Now, here's why. See, if you knew what the church was, That's right. Then you would understand that there's only one church for anybody to belong to. That's right. <laughs> See? So then that makes you ask me a fool question. <laughs> See? Then what you've got there, then when I say, well, look, if I belong to the church of God or the church of Christ or the church of Yahweh, anything I say, you see, then here you come for a fight. <laughs> you see? Get the point. Think that there's no wrong. Get wrong. Now, uh, let me see if I can get down to some things that's pretty deep with you that uh, I studied today, looked into. Clarence Lockett. 
into his uh, uh, interpretation. I didn't bring the book with me tonight. Uh, <coughs> this, uh, no, I, didn't, I didn't bring it. I'm looking up this uh, man of sin, the son of perdition. Now, he said that he did not think that that could be the Pope. He said, since the 15th century, a lot of people thought that the man of sin was the Pope of Rome. You see, and it's not him individually and personally. Why, then they thought that the Roman Catholic body was uh, the uh, or the Catholic system. See, was the man of sin that it was uh, spoken of in the Bible, in Revelations and, uh, and also in uh, Isaiah, and every very spoken. But he didn't think so. Now he went on to say, why? <coughs> and he made the contrast. And in making the contrast, I, I, I just should have brought them books. You understand? I should keep them around you all the time to convince you and to show you how men think. That's why we got these other uh, idols. Now he tried to make a contrast. He said, now the man of sin. <coughs> See, <laughs> over in Revelation it says, was from the bottomless pit. Mm -hmm. Now the contrast with Messiah or Christ, he's from above. You see, mm -hmm. get that? Mm -hmm. Then he just kept the contrast going like that. You see, oh, oh I guess uh, some six or seven <coughs> contrasts. Why he didn't think? But the man sinned, he saved from the bottom of the pit that John said he was. Now here's what he overlooked. <coughs> See? I'm just showing you how sharp sighted people are. He overlooked the fact that the spirit or the man of sin, uh, see, had been cast out of heaven. You see? And shut up in the bottom of the pit. You understand? And when he read about it, well, he comes from the bottom of the pit. But he missed all of this back here, you understand? And Messiah said, you understand, I be hell safe. You understand? Fall from heaven. You see what I'm talking about? Then he went on to say, Messiah said this, when he was here, and Judas was along with him. See? He said uh, that, uh, now that's what he's doing, it's fulfilling the, the scripture. And he said this, he said, none is lost. Well, let me put it this way first. He said that, uh, first, that I have chosen twelve, mm -hmm. uh, and one of you is a devil. Mm -hmm. But he didn't say which one of them. Mm -hmm. right. See, until he got down to the close. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, that night, you understand? And he said, one of you shall betray me. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then uh, they ask him the question, Lord, is it, I, is it me? You understand what I'm talking about? And, and at, the, at the supper. And now the scriptures had said, you see, he that stoppeth in the dish with uh, lifted up his heel. Now he's full of right. What is in the scripture? Now, no, uh, the average person wouldn't think, you see, that the way that they were sitting at that last supper, you understand, uh, was exposed even before, uh, many, many, many years ago. You understand? and was stipulated in the scriptures, you see, that, that setting, just as it were. Now, now Judas had to be second close enough to him to sop in the dish with him. You see? Get the point? Then John, you see, he had to be second close enough to him to lean over on his brain. You see? See that now? Now that Judas on one side and John on the other. Understand? Then Peter asked the question, you know. You understand? Lord, is it, is it I? And they say, is it I? That's all right. Well, now, you see, all such things, polytechnical things as that, that is, jots and tizzles in the preacher, the average theologian, he doesn't think about them. You understand? Now, what he's got in his mind is to try and learn chapters and verses. And so far as the dispensation, put it on the board, Freddie, so far as dispensation and age, he doesn't know anything about it. Now, I said this. So now, picking up the continuity of thought now, you see, he said this. Uh, don't think that I come to destroy, but I come to fulfill. You understand? Now, I come to fulfill, and very, very, I say unto you, one child or one tittle, shall in no eyes pass until it is all fulfilled. You see? Now, in this school, you 
You see, in this group, as far as I have any knowledge of it is concerned, and I have a pretty good knowledge of it, too. As Bishop Shaw said one time, he, he wasn't sleeping he was around out in the world, you understand? Now, when it comes to knowing how, what Messiah uh, uh, was doing when he was in the world, and what you call reading in your New Testament, you see, you get the point? I didn't know what he's doing. The big shots, the leaders of Christendom. The Pope, he doesn't know what he's doing. You see? Now, you know why he do not know what he's doing? You see? It's because it's hidden from him. It's the point? See, he, he's supposed to be a deceiver. And just like Messiah said, now I chose 12 of him, one of his is dead. Now listen, when he got down there, he said, now, uh, and, and fulfill in the scriptures, now listen, listen to these things technically because they're hard to express. You see, he said, one of you shall betray him, as his Lord is And so he, he, he told us, you understand. You see, he said, uh, about the scripture. Now that was written in the scripture back then. Now listen, he said, none is lost. Mm-hmm. But the son of perdition. Well, why is the son of perdition lost? Now, let's get close there. That the scriptures might be fulfilled. Now, the scriptures were written before he was born in the world. Mm-hmm. See? And he came in the world, you understand? And he had to fulfill what's in the scriptures. The mm-hmm. Pharisees, the scribes, they would walk up to him and ask him, by what authority do you do this and so forth and so on? And then he would say to them, you understand, uh, search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and they are they, the scriptures, testify with me. Now he's fulfilling the scriptures. And everything he did, birth on, you understand, everything he did was fulfillment of the scriptures. Even his conception. Mm-hmm. You understand? It was a fulfillment of what was written in the scriptures. Now, if they had known and understood the scriptures, mm-hmm. see, then they could have looked in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Uh, they could have looked in the scriptures. Yeah. And when I say looked in the scriptures, I don't mean Matthew, Mark, Luke, and right. Yeah. 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 They, they were not written. Mm-hmm. <laughs> understand? Mm-hmm. And they could see that the reason why he was doing what he was doing was because he was fulfilling the scriptures. You see? Now, out there in Christian doom, you see, they haven't got that learned yet. And that's how they get it. It's all all spoke by it. You see? When you get through it, you see? These people in this school will pick you up on that. You see? They pick you up on it. See, then another thing, that's Paul <laughs> told Now, look, you study. Study what the scriptures know. You see? To show yourself approved. You understand? A workman under God. That don't need to be ashamed. Mm-hmm. You see? Now, you see, if you're not capable and qualified of reading the scriptures and applying them in the, in the, in the proper dispensation, then you've got something to be ashamed of. Mm-hmm. You understand? So study to show yourself approved. A workman under God. Now, that's what you're studying for. Not to just get up and quote the Bible around and all that and he's done it at, at him the auditorium. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. But study to show yourself a fruit. Study to, to, to learn that the scripture. No. What's the difference? Now, he said to Timothy, same person, said, Now, you've known the scriptures, you see, from their youth on up. Mm-hmm. See, he studied at his, his mother, grandma, uh, grandma Lord. Mm-hmm. You see, his father was a Greek and his mother was a Jew. Mm-hmm. And see, they taught him all the way up. Now, he knew the scriptures. You understand? You understand? He knew what that said. You understand? But where to place it at? Or what dispensation it was? You see? How to apply it? Now, that's the thing Paul is telling him to study to show himself approved. You see what I mean? Get it? Mm-hmm. Now, look. You take your Bible. I look up here at me. You take your Bible and you go over here and you just find Christian doing this for there. So let us see what the blessed word of God says about it. Mm-hmm. 
You understand? They say, well, I'm not following Kenny. I'm following the, I, I'm, I'm following the, the, the blessed word of God. Now, to him, anything that he thinks about what he reads in the Bible is right to him. As Solomon said, every way of a man is right in his own eyes. See, that's why you get all your different sects and cults and creeds. Get the point? Mm-hmm. You see, you see what I mean? Now, then he said, well, now look here. He said, I, 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 I'm, I'm going by the New Testament. See, they never dawned on them that they don't even know what the New Testament is. It never dawned on them that this is not the Word of God. You see what I'm talking about? Now, in the school, we're trying to teach you the difference. So you come to a, a realization of it. You see? Now, look. Messiah said this. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You understand? Now, what Moses has wrote back over here, you see, that he saw in the visions, you understand? He put it down. Now, that was coming by inspiration. Now, by inspiration, we mean that he saw in the vision and heard in the vision. <laughs> see? Then he puts down what he saw and heard in the vision. You understand? Now that's the words, plural. See, now the word of God is singular. You understand? Just one. You see? And you don't carry him around in your heart. <laughs> you see? And not in the book. You understand? But in you. Get the point? But that that is in the book, as Messiah said, search the scriptures. See, now you've got the scriptures and the word of God tangled up. See, you should learn the difference between the scriptures and the word of God. Get the point? Now, he was the word of God himself. You understand? John said in the first chapter of St. John, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. You understand? And the word was God. Now, you can't do no packing up and fixing these things. You see? Now, that's the way it is. You see what I'm talking about? But every time you see somebody get up and they read something, you see, and they get so they can quote it, you understand, and refer to chapters and verses, and they got more literature and stuff out there on this market. You see, people are deceived of every kind of way you can think of. You understand? Well, now, here's, what I, here's the reason why I said that to you. I want you to know and be aware of one thing in particular, and that is that there is a positive and a negative. Deception is in this world, and it is key, you see, in order to be a devil, you understand, or an imp, you understand? You have to be... You have to you, you, you have to be pretty smart. You to detect the devil, you certainly must have uh, some men you to detect him, but you just can't take your behavior while they do it. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Because everything that the devil employs, for example, look at him out there in the wilderness. See, he didn't go out there in the wilderness and say, Look here, well, the bishop so and so and so and so the uh, so and so and the Pharisees and the Sadducees they said this. He didn't do that. Well, he went out there, and what he did when he went out there, said it's written. Right. Talking to the Messiah, you understand? That it's written. Get to understand? See, he had sense enough to, 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 get, to get at him with something was written. That's right. You understand? And he went out here talking about something that some bishop said. You see? You get to understand? I'm not talking about Bishop Sharp. <laughs> and if he didn't understand, and you could be talking about something he said. Me too. You understand? Mm-hmm. Well, they see, the thing of it is, it don't make no difference who said it. See, uh, you can be deceived. You see, you can be deceived by all of these different things. You understand? And the devil has to be split. Now, I want you to know this. I want you to know this. God, if you don't do that, I'll read. I didn't read. You see, God Himself made the devil. Now somebody said, "Now I don't believe that." 
But now you tell me something that was made without God made. Now get up, I want it on now, and prove it to me.
Jude was dead and buried. You see, you understand? Then, when Christ raised from the dead and appeared to them, or Messiah appeared to them, it had to be the leaven like Mark said. Right. Right. You see that now? But now over here they're saying Paul said the active active appeared to the twelve. And last of all he appeared to me. That would be thirteen. Do do you see it? Yeah. I'm asking you, do you see it? But see, when one of them makes a mistake, they just run out and kept it running out. Paul didn't say twelve. You see? Now let me show you. Now let me show you. The catch in. Show you how you can catch it good. Now you see, after he resurrected, he was here 40 days, walking around among them. There. And all during them 40 days, they see, Jesus still laying out there dead. You see, when he stepped aboard the cloud and ascended, Judas is still there. You understand? And then while he, after his ascension, see, the 11. You got it right there in Acts of Apostles. Mm-hmm. Be eleven. You understand? Then they cast lots. You understand? To, to somebody to fill Judas's place. Right, right. You see? You get the point? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now what I'm saying is, at his resurrection, and his time on earth for the days, he couldn't appear to nobody but the Lord and found on them till they ascended. See, he couldn't appear to them uh, the twelfth because he was, Jesus was dead. Now, do you see it now? Mm-hmm. Now, Paul said over here that after he was resurrected, you understand, so you got it, understand, he appeared unto the twelfth. And after the last of all, he was seen as me. Is that what you got in your book? Mm-hmm. Now, that's near. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> see how sharp they have to be? Mm-hmm. Get it? I could just go through a lot of places and, and point out uh, such things as that. You see, mm-hmm. all the now Christian do, they've been reading over that for, for centuries. Mm-hmm. See, ever since the time Dale and, and uh, Wycliffe and them translated the Bible, see? You understand? And reading over there, the translator come along, make that same mistake, go right on. You see? Did you see it now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, they chose Matthias to take the place of Judas. After the ascension. Right. You see? So he, he didn't appear to the twelve, it was to the eleven, as mm-hmm. Mark said. Mm-hmm. You see it now? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, this Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John that you have here is a biography. It is not the New Testament. Mm-hmm. See, now they have been making that error and that mistake for so long. Understand? Until the people are crystallized. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is a biography. Mm-hmm. See? The Acts of Apostles is a history. The epistles are instructions mm-hmm. and correction. You understand? Mm-hmm. Understand? Mm-hmm. And then they are teaching the meaning of the scriptures back over. Right. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now that's what that is. Mm-hmm. See? Revelation is a prophetic book. You understand? It's, co- it's correlated. Mm-hmm. Now, most of them say it was Daniel. Is that right? right. Say Daniel, uh, Revelation is a companion book to Daniel. Is right. that right? right? And then every day there was a thought that it was uh, uh, to Moses too. Right. Mm-hmm. See, I've never seen a script in my life that said it was a, a companion to Moses. Right. And yet still, that's what Moses, that's what, that's what John was out there on. Was very fine to confirm, and the biggest thing that he wrote that reference to what uh, what <coughs> Moses. Right. Isn't that right? That's right. You see how see mm-hmm. how bad you can be all twisted up on things. Christian doom is a mess, and I mean this is a genuine mess too. Now let me get back to what I'm talking. About. Now God made the devil like that. See. Mm-hmm. He made him according to uh, the Isaiah. Mm-hmm. You understand? He made him wise enough to twist and to tangle up these scriptures. Mm-hmm. You understand? And to misrepresent things. You understand? He made him wise enough to do that. 
You understand? Now listen, listen in trouble. And I'll get on in after my son. Now listen. You see, you recall that I told you that when he approached Messiah in the Doctor and Williams, he approached him with the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Tangled with the thing all up, said it's written. Mm -hmm. You understand? And Messiah said, You understand? Well, let me tell you what he said. Something he said, written. said it is written that he shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Mm -hmm. And in their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thy day thy foot against a stone. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. Now, Messiah didn't say that wasn't written. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But this is what he said. Mm -hmm. You understand? He said it's also written. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Understand? Mm -hmm. It's written that thou shalt worship the Lord, and him only shalt thou serve. Mm -hmm. You see, now he, the Satan, is serving in the capacity in which he was degenerated for, mm -hmm. or created for. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's slick, he's sly, he's basic, you understand? And now God made him like that. You see? And he's out here in the pulpit. And everything, you understand? And he's preaching, they're saying holiness, preaching holiness, and he's preaching this, and he's preaching that, and he's preaching that. And he made it like that. Yes. Now you see, you be deceived and fooled by that. If you don't understand it. If, if God don't reveal it to you, you're, 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 you're messed up. You see? And then you get all crystallized in that thing. You, you see? Circumscribed, you know, that's surrounded, you understand? And brainwashed. Mm -hmm. See, and you just think. See, you just think that you're on your way to, to heaven, you understand? Get the point. Mm -hmm. And here you have a hallucination, a delusion, mm -hmm. you understand? And an imagination, you see? And none of it genuinely won't stand the test. You see? Now, let me say this to you, too. Now, when Messiah was alone, walking around in flesh, he said to Peter, and then there's uh, Dan K. Kearney. Now, you watch what I'm going to say and look close at it. He said, now, who do men say that I am? Now, he asked him what the other fellow said to Peter. Mm. And some of them said, uh, Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah, or one of them, uh, John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they knew that had been beheaded, you understand? Mm -hmm. Well, some of the other prophets had read. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, that's what they, they, they answered this question by telling that's what they other fellows say. Then the question comes to say, that, who you say that I am? Mm -hmm. You understand? And uh, Simon Bardona spoke up and said, I say that there are. Yahshua, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And he said unto him, he said, that, that I say that, that you are uh, P, mm -hmm. or C, mm -hmm. which means one and the same. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And upon this rock I build my church. Now look, here's what I want you to see in that now. See, now he said that to Peter. Mm -hmm. You see? Now the devil was in Peter right then. Mm -hmm. see, and if you read right on down, mm -hmm. see, right next, if you don't think it's that, if you tell him, mm -hmm. if, you, if you tell him, I will read. See, and as they went on, see, on their journey. Now, Peter done told him, you know, that uh, I say that I the Christ, the Son of the living God. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to put it like you have mm -hmm. it in your King James Version. He said, now he said, flesh and blood did not reveal this unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. Get the point? You see, and upon this rock I build my church. Now the Roman Catholic Church then gets to gets the thing. You see, that the church is built on Peter, and Peter is the rock upon which the church is built. From that same, get the point. Mm -hmm. Now you can't deny. You understand that he didn't say that to Peter. Right. You understand? He said it to Peter. You understand? And he also said to Peter, as Peter told him, as he as he was telling him about in the same conversation. As he was telling about that this other man is going to be crucified and what time so forth, same boy Peter. You see, now they don't say nothing about this. Mm -hmm. Same boy Peter. 
Peter said, no, there ain't nothing like that don't happen to you. You understand? And he said to the same man, Peter, get thee behind me safe, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> see? You see? Now, you wouldn't think that he was going to, that he was going to build his church on Satan. <laughs> Get the point? Now, what it was in Peter was, was, was Satan. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, listen to close what I'm fixing to say. It was Satan that was cast out of heaven. That was in him. Messiah knew it. You see? Now, Satan in him was trying to tell him what wasn't going to happen to him? Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Well, then it was written in the scriptures what had to happen. Right. And it couldn't be nobody else but the devil. Right. But since I told you one thing, you understand? You understand? But, uh, I say that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God, and upon this rock I build my church. You understand? Then they went and put that upon Peter. And they said, well, he was talking to Peter. You understand? So then they built it on that. Now, look how many millions of people are deceived by it. You see? Now, here's something else he said to him. You see? He said, you're Peter. Now, listen, and I'm, I will... Now, he said it, said it to Peter. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And whatsoever you find on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you do and heaven shall be uh, loose on earth. Mm-hmm. Now look, baby, he said that to Peter. That's right. He said all I said, he said to Peter. Mm-hmm. But you see, now, you not realizing why he said what he said to Peter. You see? That's why you get in trouble. Because mm-hmm. the devil come back and throw that up to you that he did say it to Peter. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Now look, John says in the 19th or 20th chapter of John, he says that Cephas, or Peter, means a stone. Right? Now listen, folks, now I'm trying to get you to see how deceptive and evasive, you understand, and how this thing, uh, Satan has got to be cast out of heaven and he's come on down through the garden of Eden. Come on down through the garden of Eden. All the way, you understand? Mm-hmm. All the way down through the garden of Eden. And with the child was here. He chose twelve, and one of them was a dead. He knew it. You understand? Now then, that thing had to continue. Had to continue on here. See, Judas, the Satan was manifested in here. And see, one of them is a dead. Now, now, listen, let me go. See, but now when Judas died, you understand? That spirit that was manifested in that body, see, it had to continue on through here. Mm-hmm. At the end, Come on down to the end of this place. You understand? Now, when the side is here, and that's uh, about the way it's showing, they say, at the end of this age here, at the end here, see, the side pointed him out. Right? Now, you've got to come down to the end. All right, that's where it uh, ends, uh, the first time, first time. I know what Pete said. See? Peter said, if you don't think it's that, I will read it. All right, sorry, guys. There was a part that's missing in there. I got to find it again. Where is that? And what piece? All right. So I'll read this. This part right here is not in this copy of the recording that I had. So anyway, he says, uh, then they went and grabbed what he said to Peter. And he did say it. Don't say he didn't say it because he did. It's written. Get the point? But they don't see the reason why he said it to Peter, just like giving him the keys to the kingdom. Now, the devil grabbed that on this side here, and it had to continue. That's the reason why he said it that way. Now, we said that Peter meant meant a stone. Is that right? Now, look, John meant a stone and is a stone, too. In other words, Peter's not the only stone. Now, here's what Pete said. Now, this is where uh, this second side picks up on the recording. So I'll go back to it. I'm just going to back up a few seconds. Uh, Sorry, guys. All right, we'll try about here. It's going to start at the the end where we ended off here. Now the reason, and then it's going to pick up. Now here's what Pete said. Sorry.
And now I'm having issues with my rec- oh, Continue on through here. Mm-hmm. At the end, come on down to the end of this room. Mm-hmm. Then you can go back to the side here. And that's uh, about the end here. And show it. Say, at the end of this age here. At the end here. Mm-hmm. See? And the side pointed him out. Right? Now you've got to come down to the end. Yeah. I hear what Pete said. See? Peter said, if you don't think it's that, I will read it to you. Peter said, ye are lively stone mm-hmm. <laughs> in the building. Right. So he wasn't the only stone that wasn't in the building. Right. Mm-hmm. You see? Get the point? But he didn't know the statement was bad. And come on through here with you. Put it on here. Now Paul looked at it, and this is what he said. He said, we are building upon the foundation, listen, of the prophets and apostles. <laughs> See, listen, <laughs> and Jesus Christ himself, he can't say he it is nobody who's got the mind, who's got the mind of Messiah. Jesus Christ himself, not Peter, but Jesus Christ himself, you understand? It's a chief cornerstone in which all the building, fitly framed together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord for a habitation of God through the Spirit. You understand? John looks at it out on the eye of the past. There was twelve foundation stones, you understand, with the names of the apostles, all of them in it. You understand what I mean? Twelve foundations. Not three. You understand? Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. You get it now? Now look back again. As Dr. Carroll was talking to you about. John 2, 19. Mm-hmm. See? I try to study people. Because I'm trying to show you how the devil will, will trick you. Uh, see? Now, uh, John, uh, John 2, 19 says this. See, destroy this temple. And I will build it again in three days. They thought that he was talking about the temple that set out after the Mount. You know, the, the Herodian, the, the temple of the figure of Solomon. Uh, Solomon temple. That's what they thought he was talking about. But John explained this back here, the temple of his body. But what are you talking about? I'm talking about this. See, things could not be the only stone in that building. Mm-hmm. And you know it, John is dead. You get the point? Mm-hmm. And then the stone was hewn out out there in the court. You understand? But Satan of Bernie has to come along, you see? And that's why Messiah said it to him like it is. See, because that mystery of iniquity had to come on through here. See, it's got to come on down to the end. He also said to Peter, I give unto thee the kings of the kingdom. He said that to Peter, too. Right. See, the devil grabbed that. You understand? Mm-hmm. And now in here he said, Who's that in the back? I got the keys. Mm-hmm. See, you see him cross in the crown. You understand? He said to Peter, said, this Christ said to Peter, God give unto thee the keys to the kingdom. And whatsoever you bind on he- in heaven, it, uh, it'll be uh, bound on earth, it'll be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you bind, uh, uh, vice versa. You understand? And he did say. That's right. You see. And that's soon, well, the peace, you see, now I'm occupying the chair of peace. Succession of the apostles. Mm-hmm. You understand? Now they coming on down. Show me back here, coming on down. From the God in peace. You understand? All the way down to the king. And all the way down. I didn't put my shot, see, to his disciples. You see, you don't think that's in the book. I'll read you understand? The better described in the Pharisees. Yeah. And he did say. That's right. You see. And that's soon, well, in the, the peace, you see, I'm occupying the chair of peace. 
succession of the apostles. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now they coming on down. Shorty back here coming on down. From the God in me. All the way down to the king. And all the way down. I didn't put my side saying to his disciples. Well, you see, you don't think that's in the book. I'll read it. You understand? The dead is described in the Pharisees. They have to set in Moses. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? See, now they thought Moses was a communicate, uh, you see, the mediator between God and Israel. You understand? They want to be the top dog. Mm -hmm. And see what happens. Things have got to come all the way through. Mm -hmm. See, it is not Moses. Mm -hmm. You see, it is. You understand? It's God. You understand? Mm -hmm. But that thing has got to come all the way through. Now, the scribes and the Pharisees, before he died, wanted to sit in Moses. You see, and that thing is going to be fulfilled. Then, you see, they think that Peter is a high dog in the meat house. You understand what I'm talking about? I'm trying to give it to you in just common breakdown so you can see what I'm talking about. Then they want to sit in a high one seat, you know, that they thought this is the Christ. They give the authority to. So then that means that they, uh, Peter was there, and they're going to be the successors to it. And he's got the keys and the crown, you know, see? Mm -hmm. You see? Now, I told you before, I said God made him wise. Right. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. And now that's the reason why he's saying these things, too, directly to Peter. Mm -hmm. Now, that don't mean that the rest of them didn't have the keys. Mm -hmm. It didn't mean, now, I've already told you about the rest of them were stones, too. Yeah, that's right. You see, and I showed you the temple, and there was more than one stone <laughs> in that. You understand? Mm -hmm. You see? Get the point. Mm -hmm. He wasn't the boss. Now what are you doing? They're taking the place of. See, that's what makes him Antichrist or Anti Messiah. Mm -hmm. Is because he's taking the place of. See, now that thing has got to be exposed. Mm -hmm. See, and it's got to be shown up. Now the keys. I, I don't want to miss that one, too. See. Now, here he is. No, he said that to Peter. Now here he is giving them all the keys. Mm -hmm. They're the last one of them. Mm -hmm. See, you remember I told you, listen, I told you right in the same conversation where he had said, I said, it's God Christ. That's right. And the sons of the living God. And as it went on back to that, right in the same conversation, he spoke up and the side was telling about how he'd be crucified. And the same fellow, Peter spoke up and said, you understand? You see, none of them things don't happen to you. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Now he's talking about the keys. Giving him the keys. You see? Now you see what it was. Now when? I might say this. When did his father, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. He says, now flesh and blood has not revealed this unto you. Mm -hmm. But my father, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Now when did my father, which is in heaven, reveal this unto you? Mm -hmm. Now here's what you must see. Mm -hmm. Now, you must see Pete wasn't back that day, right. as a man. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. No, what, what? Pete wasn't back that day. <laughs> you see? <coughs> when this, this thing was revealed, you understand? Now, here's where, here's where it happened at. You see? Now, Satan was cast out of heaven. You understand? Twelfth chapter of, of uh, Revelation. He's cast out of heaven. You understand? You see that now? Now this devil that was cast out of heaven comes right down there in the Garden of Eden. And I have you to keep very, very particular with just even one word. In the third chapter of Genesis, you find this. That old serpent. Moses starts in with that old serpent. You understand? Right out of a clear blue sky. You understand? You don't read nothing. You just start right there and say, now that, uh, that serpent was more subtle than the woman. He didn't tell you where he come from, then nothing. Did he? Now, Messiah said, you remember, I told you, he said, I saw uh, Satan uh, fall and lightning from heaven. See, now this is where he was cast out. That same spirit that was in old Peter then, you see. That, when he was cast out, that's where his body was revealed. You understand? It was back there. Revealed to the devil that was in him. He said, now flesh and blood, God is spirit. Said, you see, it was the spirit that revealed. And you see, flesh and blood, it wasn't this. You see, it revealed to the devil that was in him like when he was cast out and fed in the garden and beaten down. You see that? 
And that's why he said, get thee behind me, Satan, because he recognized what he was in. <laughs> get the <cool? laughs> yeah, But he had to say all them things to him. Because this mystery of iniquity has got to come all the way through. And that's what you are faced and confronted with, and you are studying about all the time. You understand? And you are not able to detect it. Now let me get the keys. Let's see. He said to Peter, I'll give unto thee the keys. To the king, what's whether you find on earth will be bound in heaven. Mm-hmm. And what's whether you do? Mm-hmm. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Now, that's what he is. See, now remember. Remember. You see, what I just got through telling you, see, when Peter took him and began to say, a prayer, and say that none of them things don't happen, he's telling about how he's going to be crucified and whatnot. You understand? You see that now? Yeah. Well, now, Peter didn't understand that. You understand what I'm talking about? Or the devil is. You understand? And he said, no, 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 don't get excited about that. He said, we're with you. Get the point? And he, then he turned around and he, spake, and he said, thou savest not the things that be of God. See, the scriptures was written and they had to be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. See, that's why he tells them about how the scriptures it had to be fulfilled. Now, here he is, giving them the keys. Mm-hmm. Matthew, uh, not Matthew, but Luke, mm-hmm. 24, 44. Mm-hmm. See, give him the keys. Yes, Getting all the rest of the keys. You understand? Right along. Mm-hmm. See? And he said unto them. And he said unto them. Uh-huh. These are the words. These are the words. Which I speak unto you. Now, now, Father, Father, these are the words. Remember, I just got to telling you the words. Mm-hmm. And he told them about how he had to go there, be crucified, and so forth and so on. You understand? Mm-hmm. And then Peter spoke up and said, uh, nothing like that going to happen. That was the devil at him, you understand? Know you see that now? He tried to get me behind me because I say it's not the thing that God said. In other words, what is written in the scriptures. You see the point? Mm-hmm. Because the scriptures had said what was going to happen to him. <coughs> you understand? Mm-hmm. And he said, truthfully, he showed him, some man goes away in the scriptures. The other thing that just happened, he spoke up. You understand? And so he had to, to die according to the scriptures. And they resurrect from the dead, according to the scriptures. You understand what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? And the, 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 but Peter couldn't help that. You understand what I'm talking about? Now here he is. See, now he's been resurrected from the dead. Now here he is with them keys. See, here he is with keys. Now there they are, the, the, the eleven of them. See, that, that Pete Long, you understand? Now these are the words. Remember how he told Peter right there, you know, he'd give him the keys? You mm-hmm. understand? Mm-hmm. They're right in the same conversation. Now here he is getting the keys. Read. These are the things. These are the words which I speak unto you mm-hmm. while I was yet with you, mm-hmm. that all things must be fulfilled, mm-hmm. which were written in the law of Moses mm-hmm. and in the prophets. Mm-hmm. In the law and in the prophets. And, and in the Psalms. And in the Psalms. Concerning me. Concerning me. Mm-hmm. It says, read on that path. Then open these their understanding. Now you see that? Then open these. He, he, Pete's understanding. <laughs> oh, no, they, they're not. He, Pete's understanding about this thing, you know, there wasn't going to be, you understand? You get the point? It, then he opened he dead. <laughs> not just Pete's. <laughs> See, he's giving them the key. <laughs> now, here's one key. The law is one key. The prophecy is another key. You understand? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> now in the law and the prophecy, it had to be fulfilled by him. You understand? And now then you have to search the scriptures and whatever the scriptures say. You understand? And that's what has to happen to me. You understand? <laughs> so when he's telling them about it, and Peter, good, and I know what the key has got. Now he comes up and he tells me, he says, he gives him the keys, you understand? And tell him what's where he finds And rise from the dead. You understand? Third day. All right, read that repentance and remission should be preached in, 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 in his name. Among all nations. Among all nations. Read. Beginning at Jerusalem. Beginning at Jerusalem. You see. You understand? Now, do you see that? Mm-hmm. That remission of sin should be preached. Now, look. Here's a mess. Here's another mess. It says, Now, who sold sins? Ye remit. And see, mm-hmm. on earth mm-hmm. shall be written, remitted in heaven. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? And now here he is, he's sitting up here thinking that the Pope has charged. Mm-hmm. And whoever sins, he remits. Mm-hmm. You understand? And that is what he says. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
as such, mm. and whoever sends here remits. Mm. You understand? And that is what he said. Mm-hmm. He didn't say folk, but said that's what he's talking about. Whoever sends you remit, mm-hmm. they shall be remitted. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, here's where he missed the boat. See, the boat went just straight on by. Now, you see, he told them, now you go back to Jerusalem and you stay right there. Mm-hmm. Don't you leave. You stick around there. Yeah. You understand? Then, then he told them before then. He said, now, he said, I go to the third place, go ahead, I go away and I'll come again. Come to you and receive you unto myself. That's where I am, that you be also. Listen, he said to him, also, don't take no thought of what you shall say. Don't worry about it. And he didn't leave no written records, no, nothing for them to go by. You understand? He didn't write no books. You understand? You don't still nothing of pen scratch that he left. You understand what I'm talking about? He didn't, he didn't write nothing like that. You see, why? He said, now, I said, all things whatsoever I have said unto you during them three and a half years that he's pulled through in the law and the prophet. See? see? What's going to happen? I'll bring, I'll bring them back to your remembrance. So don't worry about it. I'll bring it back to your remembrance. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know all them things that I said to you during three and a half years. You see, you understand? Mm-hmm. Now that's something to think about. Mm-hmm. Don't make no record, don't take no nothing, you understand? And now he's going to bring it back to remember. Now here's the point I want you to get you to see. Now this is it. See, when he said, who so sinned, you remit. Mm-hmm. They shall be remembered. Mm-hmm. And whatever you bind in it now, you understand? Mm-hmm. And all that. Now this is what, this is what the devil didn't see. And this is what the folks didn't see. He said, now, uh, uh, the Holy Ghost, right. you understand? They didn't like the Ghost. They said, whom the Father, mm-hmm. God, will send in my name. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, you go back down there and stay there until I come in you according to the New Testament right. of the New Covenant. Right. Mm-hmm. You understand? Then it won't be peace. It won't be Paul. It will not be Jeremiah. You understand? Uh, it won't be none of that. See? So, so you don't worry about it. You understand? Well, I just thought that's going to be the prayer, too. Father, that they may be one, even as you and I are one. So then what's in them? You understand? It was Christ in them. I try to say it so you can understand. It was Christ in Peter. It was Christ in Paul. It was Christ in all of those men. Mm-hmm. You understand? That was loosening and finding, uh, you understand? Yeah, that's right. Through those men. It was not Peter. It was not none of that. Mm-hmm. You understand what, you don't understand what yeah. I'm talking about? And he said, so, who so sins be remit? Mm-hmm. They shall be remit. Now this, but remission. Said, so, who so sins be remit? They shall be remit. Mm-hmm. You understand? But here, don't you realize you're all about you got the thought in the body, do you? Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now you stay there in Jerusalem until you get some power on high. Mm-hmm. And then you go out there and preach that remission of sin. Mm-hmm. It's being in my name, not yours, not peace, right. not Paul, but mine. All right. <laughs> you are a sinner yourself. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? Mm-hmm. See, now that's like all them things. I don't know whether you're catching on to the things mm-hmm. that I'm saying to you tonight or not. Mm-hmm. I hope you are. Mm-hmm. You see, and I'm trying to show you how curvy, how sly the devil is. Mm-hmm. Playing preacher. You understand? You understand? With his regalia on, his robe, you understand? And uh, his garments of identification. You understand? Mm-hmm. And with his justice. You see? You understand? The Pope just a little water cut down and he's sporting around, you know, with, you understand? This is graceful and all, you understand? He's brown, you understand? 
got all the boys and all that. You understand? Mm -hmm. You see the point? You see the point? You see the point? Brain wash and such and such. Say, they say, well, look, we're the first church. You understand? Mm -hmm. They don't just see. The word church means congregation of sinners. Here it is back here in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. That was the first one. Who was the preacher? Who was the preacher? Mm -hmm. Said, I'm the Lord, I'm the Lord. He's out of the land. 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 He's out you see? Paul, oh, now you listen at me. <laughs> listen at me. I said you listen at me. And don't you miss me here. And if you do, you're wrong. See, you need to open this in time. See? And that's our kind of wrong, too. See? So now you listen good, because see, I'm trying to nail you down. <laughs> Now Paul told Timothy, you got to say that. But if I tarry long, now but if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thy orders to behave thyself. If I tarry long, you understand. But that you are, that, that, that you should know how you are behaved mm -hmm. in the house of God. In the house of God, which is the church of the living God. Which is the congregation of the living God. The pillar and ground of the, the truth. pillar and the ground of the truth. Now wait a minute, now she and here's what Paul is talking about. Now, this is the congregation back here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. This is the pillar and the ground of the truth. Mm -hmm. Back here. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is where God spoke from Mount Sinai to them gathered around in the first church. Mm -hmm. You understand? But now that you might know how. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, here it is on this side of the cross. On the people on this side of the cross. Mm -hmm. Where the church means congregation of sin. Like, like uh, the... The true definition of that now that you might know, Timothy said you are a bishop. How you ought to behave yourself. You understand? Mm -hmm. If I carry along, if I don't get to where you are, I'm detained over here. Uh -huh. You understand? I'm writing you so you know how to behave yourself. So when you come in the congregation of this assembly, which is a church, you understand? Uh, uh, you understand? Yeah. See, which is a pillar and the ground of the truth. That's the reason why I'm writing to you. And one of the apostles, one of them that's ordained for that specific purpose. So, so I'm writing to you so you know how to behave yourself. Mm -hmm. You understand? All I agree. And without controversy. And no arguments about it. See, just forget about the arguments. Mm -hmm. All I agree. Without any controversy. Great is the mystery of Great God. Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested. God was manifested in the flesh. Now look up here at me. Look up here. Now, when he was walking out here on earth, there was God manifested in a physical body. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. When he was talking, all them things that, you, that we just talked about, that he talked to the devil about, he was in a physical body, talking with him, converted. Right. You understand? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm talking about? All right, we know. Justified in the spirit. Justified in the spirit. Seed of angels. Seed of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. Preached unto the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Believed on in the world. Received up in the world. Received up in the, in, in, in heaven. Now look, folks. He was God manifested in the place. That's what you just said. Mm -hmm. And I want you to read. See, I want you to get about it being immediately. Mm -hmm. God said. <laughs> See, now he, in this, listen close at me. He said, because if you don't, you're going to miss it. And if you miss it, you'll run. Because it is a new covenant. You see? Get the point? Now somebody come along and they say, Well, Bishop Shaw, pray for me. See? That means I'm, I'm expecting you. That's the priesthood I'm talking about. You understand? I just use him as an example. You understand? See? You pray to get my parents out of here, purgatory. You understand? You understand? That's what they said. That's the family union now. Because mm -hmm. they were supposed to be free. <laughs> then we need to go between. And that's what they say the Pope is. Mm -hmm. <coughs> See, what's he buying? He's a mediator. He's the go between. You understand? Now, that's the devil. You understand what I'm talking about? Anything else? Mm -hmm. 
You see, now point him out to you so you can see what I'm talking about. The mediator and the go between. You understand? Now, have you got it? Yes, for there is one God. For there is one spirit. Mm -hmm. And one mediator between God and man. And one spirit. One mediator. Mm -hmm. Between God and man, the man Christ Jesus. Now, here's, now that's what Paul is saying. Now, there is, listen, there is one God. There is one me between God and man. The man Christ Jesus. Now, he's telling Timothy that. See, is that, is that right? Right. Now, I want you to see what, see, I want you to see what I'm talking about. See, you don't have no mediator now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you, this man sitting out there talking about burning and loosening and all like that, you see? You're having the keys and all, to go between and all that kind of thing, you see? Occupying the chair of Peter, you understand? You see, you get it now? The priests and all whom they run their hands in the pocket of pen to, to say prayers, you understand? And, and, and funerals and all these different kinds of things that go between. You understand what I'm talking about? Cost you so much money for them to go between you and them. Mm -hmm. Now I'm telling you, you don't have no mediator. Right. Now you say, well, what is Paul talking about then? If you, you say we don't have no mediator, you understand? Now, now, here's what I'm telling you. Now, on this side of the cross, before he died, you see, while he was in the flesh, while he was walking around talking to me, you understand? He said, I will pray the Father and did the same thing that was St. John. And he was the only go between. You understand? While he was in the flesh. You understand? So while he was in the flesh, see, he was the one that communicated with God for this. He was the go between. See, now listen. Now, he was God manifested in a body. You see? Now, when he takes the flesh off, then that is God. You don't have no flesh going between. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? That's the new covenant. The new covenant says, After those days into their hearts, well, I put my laws and in their minds will I write them. And they shall all know me, you understand, from the least to the greatest, you understand, from the uh, present in the field, you understand, the prophet, the great, the high priest, the great, you understand, the kings, the great, you understand, everybody, after those days, after the death, burial, and resurrection. Of him, he takes off the flesh and he puts it in you. See, then you, you understand? From the least to the best, they'll all know me. You understand? Now, then, the moon, the mediator, out, so took the flesh off. Now, I want to get Romans 8 25, and I want to show you. You remember, I told you that the spirit was in there. Isn't that right? In, the, in that body, you read, without controversy, Great is the mystery of God. God was manifested in the flesh, seen away, breathed on in the world, is that right? And received up into glory. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And now here we are running around. We expect and we are hoping and we are depending on some hypocrite preacher, you understand, on a pope, on some hypocrite priest, you understand, to make an intercession part, on a great part, you understand, to get us in good uh, favor with God. Feeling that you don't know what to say, and they're writing up prayer books and telling you what to say, and all that, that kind of junk and stuff, you understand? You see what I mean? Now, the devil, I told you, he was slick. You see? Now, we don't have that mediator. He was a mediator while he was walking around here. Between God and man, there was flesh, the spirit in there. The flesh was between the spirit. You understand? Now, when he takes that off, then now, then, you've got the spirit there. He's sown and after. Raise a quick uh, spirit, isn't that right? Mm -hmm. A quick spirit. All right, now, Romans 8, 26. You understand? Now, you remember, you got the priest in there praying, right? And you're running your hand in your pocket. 
You understand? Paying for it. You see, you got Bishop Short running around here praying for it. You got KAC running around here praying for it. You understand? You got Watts running around here praying for it. You got Dr. Hatch depending on him to pray for it. You understand? You see, that's not the way it is. You understand? Now read. But if we hope for that, we see now. Now, if we hope for that, which we see now, then do we with patience wait for it? Then do we with patience wait for it? Likewise, now listen. Are you listening to me? Now, for the same man that did wrote about, there's one mediator with the same man. She's not confused about it at all. You understand? Just likewise. Now, God is a spirit, and He is in you. She can carry it off the fact, the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name. You understand? You get it now? All right. Also help us our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for. We don't know what we should pray for. As we ought. As we ought. That's right. Read. But the Spirit is come. Now the way man got the book is out. The priest is out. You understand? Messiah is made himself. Peter is back. He's the top dog. See what I mean? He finds the nuisance. See? Messiah said, no man go up to the Father but by me. He said, no man don't go up to the Father but by me. But mm-hmm. well, I'm finding it and I'm losing it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. I pay the priest to take care of that job. I do my washing and army, and you understand, and I do my well and I stump it, and, and put one thing or another, and pay the priest. That's what they're getting paid for, it's saying for ass. Go <laughs> And that just satisfies that way you can form a union now. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Just don't pay me to go on the TV. That's right. You see what I'm talking about? But this God is spirit. You understand? Not the Spirit. Remember, they took that off. Now, Paul said the Spirit itself. Maybe it's not the Spirit. The Spirit itself. Not Jesus in the flesh. Not Jesus in the flesh. Nobody. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. It's the Spirit that makes the intercession for Peter. It's the same thing that makes the intercession for Paul. It's the same one that makes the intercession for me. It's the same one that makes you from the least to the great. We don't have no flesh going between. We don't know nobody after the flesh. You understand? What a spirit. It's the spirit itself that makes intercession for me. Not the feeling, not the pope, not the pastor. See, they got us thinking, you know, that well, I don't know whether I ought to say anything or not. Did we pray for me? Understand? They think he's in close contact. Uh, Dr. Kelly, will you pray for me? I'm saying these things. I, you, know, you know how to take them, you understand? I'm showing you the way the people are. You understand? That's all right. Bishop will pray for you. I will too. You understand? Mm-hmm. But it's the same spirit that makes any sense for me that it is for you. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you get that one? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you see? Mm-hmm. You run around here depending on Bishop Ray for you. Mm-hmm. See? Him unlocking heaven and somebody wants to ride in on the preacher's back. <laughs> you understand? Ride in on peace. <laughs> now I've said through the years, okay, I don't believe in you praying, Joe. You see, because you don't know how to pray. That's right. See, it's the spirit in you. Mm-hmm. You understand that does the pray. But I've been misunderstood on it. And if they ever could go away to that man and you even pray. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You see that? If you don't believe in all of that, you don't believe in prayer. And when you be done with you understand? They said that man was mad. I've seen her dance for a while. That's what they say. That's right. You understand? They said he don't believe in water baptism. He don't believe in foot washing. And he don't believe in nothing. You understand? He don't believe in praying. 
And they asked me, when said I didn't believe that there was a God. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. You understand? Because I tried my best to tell you, you understand? Don't you be deceived by this veil. Mm-hmm. That's right. See, we want to look on beyond that veil mm-hmm. and see that it is the Spirit itself that maketh the intercession for it. And we get the man, my me and my time, I don't know what the prayer is. That's all you got to do to get the prayer book. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're going to do some money. We're going to make you out of that. Understand? This is so God didn't know. You understand? You say, now this is what you say, God. You say, oh, Lord, uh, God, our Father, God, they were handed by the best time for good. Would <laughs> <laughs> you please forgive me for my sins? The witness is that this, I think that they teach me that I've been going to confess that to the priest. You understand? They, they say, uh-huh. see, you got you all messed up there, run confess it to, to the priest. <laughs> Confession. Well, look, whoever you did to miss the thing, the, 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 you understand? Whoever you been preaching, you go back and tell me. I'm real sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, I made a mistake back then. Yeah, I didn't make any offense. You know what I'm saying? And would you please forgive me? I'm the man he trusted against me. Yeah. And Messiah said this, and now if you come to the altar and you uh, uh, remember that your brother has offered against you, he said, neither get the, the priest that's standing right at the altar. <laughs> yeah. said, neither get that and go your way and be reconciled with your brother. Right. And he said, come back and offer your gift. Mm-hmm. Now, that the case, brother won't hear, they just go get Wallace and Bishop Jordan, you understand? Mm-hmm. That's that, no, that's that, you understand? Then you won't hear Wallace and Bishop Jordan, mm-hmm. then bring them to a little kind of date. Mm-hmm. Then, I mean, if you don't want to hear them, that's what the side has. Mm-hmm. Then they'd be under the field of the public and in the heat. Ain't mm-hmm. that right? Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm talking about? He didn't tell you that the priest was standing right there at the altar. Mm-hmm. See, now what good is it going to do to confess it to him? Mm-hmm. See, I'm showing you how slick the devil got all the Roman Catholic and Protestant. Jump all stirred up here, you understand? Mm-hmm. And got these people misled and deceived, and God has made the devil wise. That's what I tell you. Mm-hmm. You understand? That's what I'm telling you. You see? And you are no con- you, 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 you no match for him at all. You understand? You have to come here and see what it's all about. You understand what it's all about. Because the devil, all he's going to do is rob you. You see? He's going to rob you of your money, rob you of your soul, mm-hmm. and when he gets through with you, you don't have nothing. Done lost his soul, done lost his money, done lost his friends. And, yeah, you understand? You don't have to hunt up no enemies. You understand? He's got money then. Ain't that right? If you were talking about it, just done lost. And what shall it gain? You understand? What profit is it? Man, what gain you hold it? Now you see how I say that? For the spirit. That's what makes you the same. That's right. Paul said, uh, Peter said, pray for all that real authority, kings and everybody else. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Pray one for another king, you say, mm-hmm. that you may be healed. But every intercession, every prayer is made, it's made by the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. And when you get down that with your head, you understand, and you don't pray according to the purpose of God, you understand? You see what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Nobody said, well, I've said I've been working for the longest in this year, and I, I believe in God. He said, I need a job. Mm-hmm. And the Lord knows I need a job. Mm-hmm. And he said, now, if uh, you ask mm-hmm. anything in my name that I will do, he said, well, uh, I know I'm going to go and see about that, you know. Go over there and see somebody about it. See, you understand? Mm-hmm. He said, well, now, now, look here, Lord. You know I need a job. Mm-hmm. Now, I want you to guide and lead me to the job. You understand? <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I want you to guide and I want you to take care of me, Lord. You understand? And before you get anywhere, mm-hmm. you understand? You done asked that thing amiss because you didn't ask it according to the purpose of God. That's right. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You didn't ask it according to the purpose of God. Mm-hmm. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. James said the reason why you don't receive nothing mm-hmm. is because I ain't going to tell you about all them so-called prayers you prayed and you never got no hearing from them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You see, it's because you ask a miss. Mm-hmm. But any time an intercession is made by the true intercessor, which mm-hmm. is the Holy Spirit, mm-hmm. it never fails. Mm-hmm. Why? They call it. It's according to the purpose mm-hmm. of God. You see what I'm talking about? Now, there's this bread business you're talking about. You understand? Mm-hmm. Now, here's, here's David. 
He said, I have been young. Now I'm old. See, there's one thing I have never seen. Is that the righteous Satan? Or is he begging bread? Now, why you running around here hiding behind something, you know? I'm saying a whole lot of dirt. Because I'm just saying you got covered up in me and you got the nerve. And saying this is not the Lord knows. You want you straighten that mess up. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm talking about? You're, you're, you're praying on this. You understand? And if you were really not praying, you're talking to yourself. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. You know you ain't right. Like you ought to be. You know you ain't got no Holy Spirit in you making no intercession. You know your everyday life. You understand what I'm talking about? You just as mean as the cross as the devil and all that different kind of things. You understand what I'm talking about? You see, you see what I mean? Yeah. Then now you say, well, I don't, I'm going to ask the Lord to give me some. No, I tell you what you need to do. You need to straighten up. Uh-huh. Because you haven't got no way to say that I ask nobody for nothing. Mm-hmm. You see, you haven't got no Holy Spirit. You need to make no way to say that you, brother. That's why like you're messing up and messing the thing all up. You understand? Because if you had it, <laughs> you understand? If you had that, mm-hmm. as David said, then the right to say they have never been such a forsaken. This seat doesn't make anything in bread. You understand? Why don't you just turn it over the other way and say, Brother, I need to straighten up <laughs> instead of having my own righteousness, the righteousness of God, which was by faith. You understand? And you won't have to worry about these things. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get it? Mm-hmm. Be conscious of what you're talking about. You don't run around just asking for something just to be asking for something. You understand? And you just talk to yourself, you ain't getting nowhere with that. You see, mm-hmm. God sees all that. Well, if you ever talk about you can't give a crib out of him. You just you understand yeah. what I'm talking about? You can't hide nothing from God. All that presumptuous sin and that ain't going on top of all that. You see what I'm talking about? And people call that praise. Mm-hmm. I, I, I hope you've gotten something out of it. Mm-hmm. I hope you've gotten something. I try to go into the satanic side of it. It shows you how. This is the difference, you see. It's the deceiving of people. Now, let me say this. See, I want to go into it, but I didn't have time. This big Bible is filled with Jesus. That 666, that man. Now, if you take our book, you see, we went every kind of way, every kind of calculation that can be thought. You understand? Now, the Roman Catholics say that this 666 drawings on uh, Nero. You understand? That's what that last book I brought down here. You understand? I'll let you read it. See, they say it's wrong, wrong, Nero. But you see, then there's, now the clutch out in front of this now. See? Now the seat of the beast. You understand? The dragon gave him his seat and his power and his power. It transferred right over. Now, here's the deal up here. Oh, great at church over the state. You see, 325. You understand? Church has a preeminence over the state. You see, meaning that, you understand? Constantine, United States and Church. You understand what I'm talking about? Constantine doesn't talk to you like that. You understand? But it's showing the power. Uh, uh, over the, the church over the state. Mm. Well, now, if that Nero, who was the ruler of the world, <coughs> that six 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 on him, mm. that's the political side of it, you understand? <coughs> and they pass over to the capital side. And they turn around both just talking about it, too. Mm. You see? Then that's what they say right over to them, because you see you're here, and that's what they say. But now, you see, we pan that thing on, you understand? We stand the five and roll the And she ain't that deep breath. You understand? And that's what I meant. And we got that in the book. And that's what I spoke about last night. See, you're going to have an off card ready. You see what I'm talking about? The devil is out to give you the Give you an off card ready to go. You understand what I'm talking about? Deceive you and everything. You understand? Mm-hmm. You talk about the magicians. See, the black kids, the, 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 the man here died. 
All right, guys, I'm going to read this last part. That's where the audio ends, the audio version that I have. Uh, sounds kind of just like the Pope in them. They say this. Now, listen. Listen good at what's said. Now, here's what it said. Now, it said, well, you want to go, want you to give something, Bishop, so that the priest can pray or the Pope can pray to get your relatives out, out of purgatory. Got this got dispensation now excuse me got dispensation on now worth forty dollars you can pay it in the installment plan if you want to cheap now listen while i'm saying this to you get you out of purgatory out of the flames said pray for the poor souls see how humble this poor souls in the flame of purgatory oh my like that i'll Oh, I'll squeeze a dollar. I'll pay a dollar now and a dollar after a while. And that's what they tell the people, that to pray them out of purgatory, out of the flames of purgatory. Now, here's what the book says about it. That if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son. I said the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son, cleanses us from all sin. Now, they're saying Roasting the flames of purgatory until every bit of the sin has been purged out of you. You are roasting and you are paying to get them poor souls out. And that's my mother. And she was a good woman, but said, now she's got, if you're not fit to pay and appear in the presence of God and the devil won't let you alone while you're walking around, he won't let you alone after you're dead. Now the devil, he going to chase you right on down to the end. You might as well, excuse me, you just might as well keep your footsteps right on, right on down to the curtain day until the end, because he's going to be out there deceiving and fooling the people just as long until the Messiah comes. That's what the book said, said that he would destroy him with the brightness of his coming and with the spirit of his mom. So you can look for him. He's out there. I'm sorry I detained you and kept you sitting here, but I hope you got something out of it end of the tape so uh for everybody I, this one was kind of hard for me there's different versions out there i'm sure somebody's got another version of the audio and, and the transcripts i know there's at least two versions of the transcripts i can only find one version of the audio so anyway i hope uh, everyone was able to get something out of that i thought it was a wonderful lecture i certainly never heard uh him explain i never heard that thing about peter being the rock and the, that the church is built upon. I never heard it explained that way. So uh, I hope everybody got something out of it. We're pretty much out of class, out of time. Anybody got any quick comments? I mean, quick. We got about 60 seconds. Anybody? Nothing? All right. Well, all right. Again, this lecture was entitled intercession rightly dividing the word of truth the audio and the transcript are on uh lansing's wiki 
I mean, I'm sorry, Lancey's uh, Google Drive. The transcript is also on uh, Carlos Wiki that archetype pattern site. I think the one that's on there is a little bit different, but uh, they both um, the audio ends before both of the transcripts end. That last part I read it is on both of them. So anyway, we'll keep <clears throat> excuse me, we'll keep plugging along with these lectures. I hope that you all are getting something out of it. Uh, well, if no one has anything else, we're going to end right there. Nobody? All right. Just that it's a it was a beautiful lecture, full of good food. It was beautiful. Yes, it was. I thank you, Ashley, for these lectures. I just to hear the way Dr. Kenley preached it, man. It's, he had to see. He, he had a vision from Yahweh. Can't nobody put it together the way he's able to do that. So, yes, mm -hmm. thank you for your efforts. Oh, no doubt. Thank you. Uh, Rhonda, I know um, I got to get with you anyway about some more of these lectures. So, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, all right. That brings a conclusion to this lecture. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh. Uh, we have the announcement. Right. right I know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Nelson, you going to announce it? Uh, just uh, an announcement and reminder that we will have an in-person class session this coming Sunday, which is the um, 27th, March 27th, and class will be held beginning at 11 o'clock at the Beachwood uh, Community Center in Southville, Michigan, and as previously done, I will put out an email just reminding everybody of the, the date and the time for the in-house class session on Sunday coming up. Thank you. All right, and also uh, masks are required in the meeting room, yes. mm -hmm. required Thank by you. the building, so. Yes. And, uh, okay, sorry. And uh, guys, um, last time, I'm sorry about last time, I didn't send out, I didn't tell everybody what I was doing, but when we're doing the live classes, we're gonna stream them to YouTube. I just want one more test run, so we're not like streaming live where anybody can just go to our YouTube. It's just the same as what we do on Zoom. You're going to get an email with the link and you just click on the link and it'll take you to YouTube. We're going to do that this time. The actual will and everything goes well because I had some new equipment. If everything goes well this time. From this point, after after Sunday's class, we'll just stream live. All you got to do is go to our YouTube page and it'll, it'll be there. But this, okay. this Sunday, you're going to need a link. So it's going to be the same as Zoom. You get the Zoom emails, you're going to okay. get an email Sunday and it'll have a link in it. You just click on it and it'll take you to YouTube. So, everybody got that? Yes. All right, cool. All right. Uh, that brings conclusion to the class. We have classes here on Zoom, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 p.m. to 7 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Sundays on Zoom from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Sunday in person, 11 p.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, we will close with the doxology, which is taken from the last two verses of the book of Jude. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, through Yahshua the Messiah, our Sovereign, belong all glory, majesty, dominion, and power, all times, now and ever. Let us all say, hallelujah. 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 And just so I'm clear, so um, 